Hi, Steven here from Core Electronics. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Raspberry Pi 3 Model A Plus. The things that you'll need to follow along with this tutorial are a Raspberry Pi 3 Model A Plus, a keyboard and mouse, a display with an HDMI cord, a power supply, and a preloaded SD card with noobs. If you don't have a preloaded SD card, you can create your own Noobs operating system SD card by downloading the software from the Raspberry Pi website. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to plug everything into our Raspberry Pi. So starting with the SD card, I'll insert it in the SD card slot in the bottom. I'll plug in the USB dongle for my keyboard and mouse my HDMI cord, and order doesn't particularly matter here, but you do want to power it up last. And finally, I'll connect my power. So once the board's all powered up and we're connected to this display, we'll get our rainbow screen that indicates that the Raspberry Pi has turned on, and right away we'll start to see the Noobs install screen loading up. So from here, um, we can choose the Raspbian or the LibreELEC install uh, operating system. We want to use Raspbian. Um, and if you're curious, you can connect to Wi-Fi networks here, and it will give you a list of additional options of things you can install with the installer, but we'll just leave that alone for now. And down at the bottom, is pretty important. There's a language and a keyboard setting. Um, most keyboards that we use in Australia or in the US are US style keyboards. So you could save yourself some trouble here by changing the language to English US if that's the language that you're you use and the keyboard to US. And then when you're ready, just select install. We'll overwrite anything existing on the disk, and then we'll just let it do its work. All right, so now that the Raspbian operating system is finished installing, we'll get this operating systems installed successfully window, and we'll just hit OK. The Raspberry Pi will reboot. So here we have the graphic user interface from Raspbian. Um, the first time that we power up, we're going to get this Welcome to Raspberry Pi setup wizard. And this is something that you can skip, but all these settings are going to be, you can change them later, but they're going to be harder to find all in their, their respective places. So I recommend working through this wizard now. So the first step is to set up our country. So we're in Australia, so I'll go all the way up to Australia. Um, and we'll choose our time zone and use US keyboard is a pretty important thing to leave checked. And the, the, the location matters for the clock, of course, and for our Wi-Fi. Um, I recommend changing your password from the default password um, and username the, uh, just to add a little bit of security to your Raspberry Pi. We're just going to skip that for now. And then you have the opportunity to connect to a Wi-Fi network, which um, it'll scan for any Wi-Fi networks in your area. Um, and just like connecting to Wi-Fi on your computer, you select the network that that's yours, enter your password, So just like connecting to Wi-Fi network on your normal computer, you select your network, enter your password, and you're connected. So you'll then get an uh, opportunity to update your software. The, the Noobs operating system, if you have the most recent release, um, is up to date, but they're constantly updating things about the operating system, so it's always important to run an update on your system. So it's a good idea to do, to do that now. So this will run through the update process. will take a little bit of time while it searches for updates and does some downloads. Um, 
once it's all done, you'll reboot your system, and the only thing left to do is to start your projects. We've got a lot of Raspberry Pi tutorials available on our website, over 30 of them. Check them out. There's a lot of great stuff for projects to do with your Raspberry Pi. We also have the online course available that will walk you through everything you need to know about setting up your Raspberry Pi from taking it out of the box the first time to some much more advanced operations. So thanks for watching.